If you will be good enough to wait just one moment, I will finish shoeing the burro. Then, with the burro, you may go wherever you please. It is safe. It is pleasant. It is... But you must remember to show the burro who is master. It is not so fast, no. It is even better. It is slow. That way you can see so much more. And there is so much to see. You surely have heard of castles in Spain. You surely have heard of Don Quixote and windmills. But did you know that for us, these are not legends, fantasies? Do you know my people? We are of many moods, many faces. In a land where many have left their traces. Phoenicians and Romans. Greeks, Vandals and Moors. It is all so different. You ought to see all of this land if you would understand us. Keep the burro if you like. If not, not. There are many ways of bringing distance closer. Choose the means you prefer. Go wherever you please. Spend a few minutes with us in one place and another, and you will come to know us better. You have only to look and uh, to listen. I cannot speak for all of Spain. For a scholar, I am not. But I can tell you of the life of a fisherman, for that is what I am and what I know. Ours is not a bad life, but surely it is not an easy one, nor is fishing the only work that most of us do. We are men of the sea. We have been building our own ships with our own hands longer than anyone remembers. And we were the first to dare the unknown waters where others feared to go. In a little ship like this, the great Columbus crossed the mighty Atlantic. But who do you think manned the vessel that brought the flag of Spain to the New World? This ship, now lying at anchor in Barcelona Harbor, still reminds us of our glorious past. But for most of us, my friend, the wheel of fortune has turned indeed since the days of the conquistadores. And while we follow more humble occupations, this life has its own pleasures and rewards.
This life has its own pleasures and rewards. For the rest, do we not all have our dreams? One day, my wheel of fortune will turn and I shall sail away. I will go to the island of Mallorca, for this is also Spain, a Spanish paradise, I tell you. And that is a fact, not a fancy, for I have seen it with my very own eyes. Buildings as new as tomorrow. Palaces of splendor and luxury. Groves of olive trees that are older than time. But I shall go up to the mountains, high above the harbor, and there I will live as in a sook, as in tales my mother once told me. From my house, I look out over gardens and terraces that lead down to the sea, for the sea is my blood, and I could never forsake it entirely. For when the wheel of my fortune turns, I will have a boat only. I am not a fisherman, the prince or a merchant, or a landowner. I am a landowner. I am a farmer. I work from sunrise to sunset every day of the year. I work in order to eat. Is not that the way of the world? When the harvest is good and one eats well, bueno. When the harvest is poor, well, Good too. After all, <laughs> what is one to do? Get angry? With whom? I ask you, hombre, with whom? With the soil that is tired and poor and worn, like a woman who has had many children, with the rain that refuses to fall? <laughs> one may get angry, but that will not make the rain fall. One does what one can with whatever one has, as our grandfathers did in their time, and their grandfathers before them. One hears of man-made schemes and dreams that will someday bring us water from the mountains. If so, all the better. Meanwhile, one hopes and one prays. And when God is good and our prayers are answered, we rejoice with the thirsting earth. For that is the measure of a farmer's life. From the earth to the earth. After all, we are not people of the city. I am from the city. I am from Segovia. And here, for as long as anyone remembers, the measure of life has been glory. This is what we have inherited from our grandfathers. A crown of Roman stones as old as 2,000 harvests. Look at these stones and tell me, if you can, how long is one day, one year? These stones speak of ages and empires, whole civilizations. That is their glory and ours. These stones of Segovia? <laughs> Excuse me, but have you seen these stones of Avila? These are not just relics. 
left standing from ancient times. These are living stones. Yes, sacred stones. These are the walls of our city. The stones that have saved us time and again from a hundred different invasions. Inside these walls, and because of these walls, we have become the most devout people in Spain. That is true glory, and that belongs to my city alone. Forgive them. They are my countrymen, and they are honest. But is it not clear they have never been to Madrid? What could they know about cities? How can they even begin to imagine a city that is always awake, day and night? A city that never sleeps, that never wants to. This is the center, the heart of Spain, as well as the capital. And people come here from everywhere, because, just because it is Madrid. Everyone comes to see the Prado, of course. It is filled with the paintings of masters, El Greco and Goya, Velázquez, Murillo, and many from other lands. Everyone stays to wander the streets of the city, which are like a living gallery of all the faces of Spain. Yes, my friend, Madrid has everything, everything, from the littlest to the biggest. But do not misunderstand these tall, modern walls. Behind them, the people are as friendly as ever. What more could any city offer? Anywhere. Come to the south, to the land of blue skies and blue waters. Come to Granada and see for yourself. Come, and I'll show you a playground of nature where the Sierras keep out the snow. We are descended from gypsies and moves, the children of sunshine and pleasure. I will take you to the Alhambra, a palace of the Arabian Nights. As in the days of the sultans, its walls still whisper of love and passion. Come to Granada and see for yourself. You'll wish you could stay forever. Uh, 
I know what I would wish for if wishes could come true. But they say you mustn't tell. So I tell no one except my burro. That's different. Besides, he knows. He knows how I wish. Oh, how I wish that I could have a horse. I know just what he'd look like. The most beautiful horse in Spain. I would train him myself. I would teach him to brave the horns of the bull. How to come close without harm. And he would learn quickly, for he would be swift and smart. I wish, I also wish, that I could raise fighting bulls. I know where to find the best cows for breeding. And I know how to judge them. I would test them with the muleta. I would test them with the cape. I would make them follow and obey me, as the matador does with a toro in the arena. Only the fiercest and strongest cows would I choose. Only the angriest when the picador enraged them. Only the bravest in the terrible moment of truth. Only from these would I breed my bulls. And I would ride out on the range every day to watch over them as they grew. For soon, my toros would be big and strong, with horns as sharp as swords from Toledo, and backs like the Guadarrama range. And one fine day, I'd bring them to the city for the biggest corridas in Spain. And people would come from all over just to see my toros. And they would point to my bull and say, that one is a toro bravo, no? Yes. But the wish that I really wish most of all is to be a matador myself. Oh, how proud I would be to march into the Plaza de Toros with my picadores and my banderilleros. I would be proud because out of all those people, one especially would be cheating for me. I would watch the men of my quadrilla while they tested the toro. Does he hook left or right? Left or right, I will force him to follow my will. The picador will enrage him, but his anger will not frighten me. I will bring his horns closer and closer to me. signal my banderillero. He will make the toro wild with fury. I know I will master him in the final moment of truth. The truth of a moment. The truth of eternity. These are the poles of our existence. I am a student of these matters at the mountaintop monastery of Montserrat.
the problems of the eternal struggle between the forces of earth and of heaven. The triumph of the spirit over the body of eternal truth over the momentary is for us as real and stirring a drama as a victory of the bullring. And every year during Holy Week, we commemorate this most glorious event throughout Spain. In Sevilla, it is recalled that when they came unto the place which is called Calvary, they crucified him. But Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. In Malaga, they celebrate the wondrous miracle of the days that followed. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher. The tomb was empty. Christ had risen. creatures of the spirit. We are creatures of the flesh. And after the passion of the faith, the body must also celebrate. If you will permit me just one more suggestion. Come to Sevilla for Holy Week. Then you'll be there for the celebration that follows. Although in truth, there is no place like it in any season. From its fountains and gardens to the great tower of Giralda, Sevilla sings of the days of the Moors. And now, after Holy Week, Ore, Feria, everybody's holiday, when the music plays, and the wine, uh, the wine. Come, hombre. Let us cross the Guadalquivir and visit the gypsy fair. I, I want to look around here. you know why? I am the blacksmith who gave you the burro, remember? And here I will look for another. Or perhaps a horse. Or perhaps not. It all depends. If the price is right, right. If not, not. I find one somewhere else. Now let us go back to the big celebration. As long as it continues, Feria never stops.
Day after day, a year it will take to recover. Day after day. Then, at last, we begin our journey homeward. To Castile and Catalonia, Aragon and Andalusia, to Navarre, Leon and Extremadura, to many of the places you have been, and many others yet. And you, my friend, will likewise soon be leaving for whatever corner of the distant earth you call home. And as you sail through the endless skies, Remember the home you have left behind, as well as the one that awaits you. Reflect on what you have seen. And recall how with us, wherever you are, usted está en su casa, you are in your own home.